gentlemen, welcome to tonight's NJCAA Region 21 contest with the visiting Benjamin Franklin Institute of Technology Chargers and your Bristol Community College Bayhawks. The NJCAA Region 21 and Bristol Community College are committed to the ideals of good sportsmanship, safety, and fair play. We ask that all fans, coaches, and players show respect for the opposing team, game officials, and each other before, during, and after tonight's game. Your cooperation is greatly appreciated. And now for tonight's starting lineup, first with the visiting Benjamin Franklin Institute of Technology Chargers. At forward, number one, Ty Cliff Blake. At guard, number 13, Tommy Rio. At four, number 21, Jamal Matthews. At four, number 22, Jonathan Mola. And at guard, number 23, Trey Hobson. And Ben Franklin is coached by Jeff Lerner and assisted by Dennis Arellano. And now, for your Bristol Community College Bayhawks. At guard, a freshman from New Orleans, Louisiana, number two, Damian Martin. At center, a freshman from Lake Charles, Louisiana, number four, Josh Wimbush. At forward, a freshman from Providence, Rhode Island, number 10, Zachary Vega. At guard, a sophomore from Taunton, Massachusetts, number 15, Corey Green. And at forward, a sophomore from Acoustic, Massachusetts, number 13, the Pope, Quincy Pope. BCC is coached by Robert Delalou, assisted by Frank Stevenson, Joshua Rogers, Brian Fernandes, and Don Edge. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you would please rise for the singing of our national anthem performed by Michael de Almeida. Right, that's a beautiful rendition performed there by Michael Diamito. We're kicking this one off. How you doing, everybody? I'm David Cardoza. Alongside me is the phenomenal Portuguese cowboy, Mr. Craig Salvador. Craig, BCC comes rolling into this one. They're 8-0 overall, 8-0 in Region 21. Um, we're broadcasting this one from the France Gymnasium here at good old Bishop Conley High School, home of your BCC, your undefeated BCC Bayhawks. And uh, Benjamin Franklin... Institute, a team that we're not too familiar with, but they are the Chargers, and they come in, they're 0-6 um, in, in regional play. 
in their conference, an 0 and 10 overall. And uh, BCC tipping off here with Josh Winbush, Greg, and Josh Winbush has been a force for BCC. Yeah, that he has. We've seen him through multiple games. He's been our Bayhawks player of the game. And again, this should, uh, in one way or another, this should be an interesting game. And definitely the height difference there. Joshua Winbush with the tap, and the Chargers are going to come up with it. I think he mistimed his jump there, but the Chargers will come up with the basketball, and BCC will start off man-to-man. -man. And this one's underway from Fall River. Jump shot from the outside is good. And I think his foot was on the line. It's just going to be a two. Yep, so the Chargers getting the first points of the game. Yeah. Chargers off to a good start. On the drive, Quincy Pope. Martin on the dribble drive. Back up to Corey Green for three. Nails it. Corey Green. One of the offensive stalwarts for this BCC team drains a three, and BCC regains the lead back quickly. Zachary Stolen. Vega gets it. Vega gets his own rebound, puts it up and in. And BCC with a legitimate size advantage over BFIT, Benjamin Franklin Institute. Tommy Riho with the basketball being guarded closely by Damian Martin. Ford Green almost got a steal. They'll lob it in on the outside. Oh, that was a very sneaky pass. And what's a sneaky pass? Seven on the shot clock, three-pointer way off. I think I thought Zachary Vega got a piece of the ball, but evidently he did not. That was just a horrible shot. BCC is lightning quick. With the way they zip that basketball around the perimeter. Chargers. Forced a turnover. Tommy Riho with the basketball. Trey Holston now going to the basket. Landed in, number 21, Jamal Matthews on the lay-in. And it's five to four. Up goes to the line, foul will be on Damian Martin. First foul of the game. And completing the three-point play with Jamal Matthews. Charges with an electric zone right now. And they force a turnover. Oh, that was a hell of an effort by, uh, by Corey Green to throw it back into play, but the Chargers come up with it. This looks like it's going to be a lightning quick game. I like the puns. Yeah. Pun unintended. Nice jump stop. He couldn't get into the basket, get into the rim. Number one, Ty Cliff Blake. He's going to get fouled, and he's going to go to the line. A foul on Zachary Vega. Him and Quincy Pope both went for the block. Vega, I guess, came up with the contact. Yeah, it was a nice take there by Ty Cliff Blake. He'll go to the line. And he'll drain that one. We're just getting going here from Fall River, Bishop Conley High School, here in the Dirty River. And both free throws calmly sank by Ty Cliff Blank, pushing in this Damian Martin. Damian Martin getting the start today at the point for the Bayhawks. Appears to be two three zone. They're going to dump it in. Zachary Vega back out to Corey Green. Green launches it for three. The rotation is excellent. Pretty beautiful shot. Three pointers good by Corey Green. That's his specialty from the outside is the Green Machine. It's just a great, it's just a great a high arcing beautiful shot. And Corey Green is one of the uh, leading scorers of this Bayhawks team, and it's for reasons like that, arguably the best three point shooter on this team. And they're going to call it up and over. Up and over the backcourt by on, on Ty Cliff Blake, and BCC will get the basketball back. Looks like it's a 1-3-1 one, one defense. Going in inside to Winbush, gets, sticks with it, and that's something that they can do all day. 
and B Fit's going to call a timeout. So a menacing start to this one. Back and forth. Both teams going up and down the court. 10 7. And it's just early on here. 16 47 to play. We're just getting going. Ten to seven, Craig, and you know, BCC has the height advantage with a six foot seven wind bush with his long wingspan. Um, B fit doesn't seem to have anyone who matches that. Highcliff Blank is six foot four, but he's really not. He's more of a perimeter player. And even Josh Winbush has three inches on him. Yep, we all see Jamal Matthews also six foot four. They are the uh, both of them the tallest players on this team. But Josh Winbush has been an early force to be reckoned with on this young BCC season. They're one of the leading scorers. He's the leading rebounder on this team. Yep, also gets a good amount of blocks in the games. Yeah, he's long, long wingspan. Josh Winbush hails from New Orleans, Louisiana. BCC likes to play that full court man-to-man -man press. Man-to-man -man defense. And it's it can be relentless at times. Pope closely guarding number 22, Jonathan Mola, who goes to the basket and gets a block by Winbush. Vega loses it out of bounds. Good defensive play. It looked like Tommy Riho might have reached in there and knocked it off Vega's leg. Forced BCC to turn over. BCC matches up man, man to man. Driving. Goes up and under Windbush. Nice play by Tommy Riho to go up and under an outstretched Windbush. And BCC almost losing the ball out of bounds there. Good job by Vega to stay with it, though. BCC, they turn the ball over again. Zachary Vega goes out of bounds. 10 to 9. BCC has the lead, but. Yeah, early on, this game is definitely not going the way I was expecting it. No, yeah, exactly. Throw the records out the window, Craig. Go into the basket, and there's a foul. Is an offensive? And they're going to count. They're going to count it. They're going to count the basket and go into the line. Is Tommy Riho? They're going to call a foul on number two, Damian Martin, and coming in and coming in for him is number 23. Caleb Provitt, and also coming in, number five, Stephen, no, I'm sorry, number 30, Marcus Mitchell. Marcus Mitchell coming off the bench today. Rob Del Lou has different lineups he likes to go with. He has a deep team, so. Yeah, Marcus Mitchell known as a very good three-point shooter. Definitely. Wimbush catches it from the perimeter. Over to, to Provitt. Provitt going to the lane, puts it up off the glass and in. Caleb Provitt with a nice take to the hoop. Swoop it to the hoop for the deuce. And now Provitt all up in Blake's shirt now. This could be a high scoring game, 12-12 already. Three point shot by Blake, goes up and in. Gets the bounce, gets it to go, three pointer. They're gonna call it a two pointer. BCC getting tested here early on. Marcus Mitchell to Pope. From the elbow, no good. Wimbush tipped it. But Blake will come up with it. And BCC might find a team here, Craig, that can match them with their speed and, the, and furious play. Pass down inside. Going up with it. Can't get it to go. Hobson with the miss. Cross-court pass, Corey Green stops and pops for three. Almost had it, couldn't get it to go. Rebounded by Blake. Corey Green's first. I'm sorry, Tommy Rijo. Rijo, now got it by Green. Rijo for three, no good. Mitchell with the rebound, pushing it up court. Nice bounce pass to Green on the fast break, lays it in. Boy, BCC, they can fly. 
Well, Marcus Mitchell is one of the best passers on this team, and Corey Green always finds a way to get open, whether it's down low or outside for a three. That's it, Corey Green always moving on that break. 14 to 14 now. 13 on the shot clock. Shot clock Seven on the now. shot clock now. Double pump, couldn't get it to go. Winbush out to Corey Green on the break. Corey Green in transition, gets it to the paint, lays it in. Corey Green with the Euro step getting two points. The Euro step, Corey Green. The Green Machine. And it's moves like that is why he's one of the highest scoring players on this team. And he's so good in the open court and B-Fit's gonna call a timeout. And BCC regains the lead 16 to 14. 13, 18 left to play here in the first half. That Corey Green, an offensive machine, already has 10 points in this game. We'll keep it here as it's 13-18 left to play in the first half. And both teams getting out on the break. Both teams, you know, fast and furious. So right now 16 to 14. And uh, BCC with the lead. But Craig, you know, we were talking earlier, the, earlier before. Benjamin Franklin comes in here 0-10 overall in their schedule. And BCC undefeated 8-0. Winning every single game they've played. But sometimes you got to take the... You gotta take the records. You gotta take the records out of the picture. Yeah, this Chargers team definitely not playing like an 0-10 team right now. Where did the Chargers hail from? Where's Benjamin Franklin Institute? As we get ready to resume action here. It is in Boston. So this is Benjamin Franklin Institute of Technology is based out of Boston. But they're not, they're not part of Region 21. This is an out-of-conference game for BCC. With the ball is Ty Cliff Blake. Blake loses it, regaining it. Oh, Winbush altering that shot. And now Corey Green. I think he might have gotten hit in the face. Corey Green might have a nosebleed. Yeah, he does. I thought he might have lost a tooth there for a second. Definitely with a nosebleed. Trainer's going to take him over, work on him. So Corey Green. And Steven Torres is going to be coming in for him. Yeah, Corey Green. Probably one of the best, one of the best two-way players that BCC has. Definitely one of their top. Offensive guns. He'll go to the sideline. Hopefully, we'll hopefully he'll get that fixed up. Yeah, hopefully they can. Uh, you know, hopefully it is just a nosebleed, nothing serious. They can stop it, and hopefully we can see him in this game later on. Yeah, without a doubt. 16 to 14. And BFI, BFIT, I should say, B fit, sticking with BCC right now, and it looks like they can run with them. I didn't think that they would be able to, but they're able to push it. They're able to get back on defense. And they, they can they can move the ball and drive into the lane. But the one difference maker that BCC has that B-Fit doesn't seem to have is Joshua Winbush can get in there and he can he can deflect and he can um, you know rearrange a lot of shots. Alter a lot of shots for sure. We'll take this time out, 16 to 14, BCC. It's up by two.
who say they edit them, right? They don't just like keep it here. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just gonna start instead of like talking during the break. I'm just gonna say, all right, we'll take a break from action and blah blah blah. All right, welcome back, everybody, to the France Gymnasium here in Fall River, Massachusetts, home of your Bristol Community College Bayhawks. Took a little break in the action. Corey Green got hit in the nose as BCC dumps it in, laying it up and laying it in. I'm not sure. I think Winbush might have got a piece of that and laid it in. Corey Green got hit in the face and bled on the court. He's being attended to by the BCC trainers. Hopefully he's okay. So Corey Green out of action right now. BCC's up by four with that tip in by Winbush. Again, Corey Green got knocked in the face. Not sure by who, by a Chargers defender. And uh, he's getting attended to right now. So Mateo with a, with a bullet of a shot off the glass. Winbush rebounded it. Here's Caleb Provitt. Wimbush, cross-court pass. Mitchell thought about three. Nothing doing. Torres, playing pass with Mitchell. Back to, back to Torres, driving to his lane, dumps it in. Nice touch pass by Wimbush. Oh, that would have been pretty. Oh, man. BCC can't, can't convert. Zachary Vega looking to go in. Along with Hakan Koban. Along with Hakan Koban. Driving. Mola. Nice bounce pass. Gets it inside. Can't convert. Number four, Rene Laguerre can't convert. On the other end, his Provit. Quick passing from BCC. Provit gets it in the corner. Torres for three. Bang! Boom! Three point shot by Torres is good, and it's 21 to 14. And BCC with a 5-0 run out of the timeout. And Steven Torres causing a foul away from the ball. <laughs> Zachary Vega, number 10, coming in. Number 13, Quincy Pope going out. Hakan Koban. He will also come in. He's out there with number 23, Caleb Provitt. Number 5, Steven Torres. Number 30, Marcus Mitchell. Number 10, Zachary Vega. On the crossover, Tommy Rio getting to the lane, no good. Chargers getting looks, but BCC with their height, whether it could be Caban or, or Winbush, they're altering a lot of those shots. That one got knocked away and out of bounds. Yeah, that ball's going to be deflected out of bounds by number 11. It's Alexei Alex, Malaya. Alexei Mateo. Sounds more like a soccer player than a basketball player, but anyway. Maybe it is both. <laughs> we don't know this team. I know. I'm. Oh, Alexei's diving for the ball. I'm, I'm profiling. I'm sports profiling. Sports profiling. <laughs> <laughs> Alexei, nonetheless, he was diving for it. Went out of bounds off of him. So BCC's basketball in their side of the court. Chargers sideline doing a lot of screaming. Going to the hole. Nice bounce pass by Torres. Drops it off to Coban. And he took too many steps. Coban hails from Turkey. Istanbul, Turkey. Went to Bodwell High School in Istanbul, Turkey. Six foot six. Just seems a little raw. Not as pop, not, not, his game is not as polished yet. Not, not like, not like Winbush. Driving, dishing back out. 
Back up to Tommy Rio. Shot Rio down pulls up from the elbow, gets it. Rainbow jumper drains it home. Wow, BCC moving the basketball so quick. Offensive foul, dipping the shoulder in this Coban. And the offensive foul picked up. Getting hot in this gym. Good crowd on hand here at Bishop Conley. B-Fit coming to play today. Coming to play here on the road, coming from Boston. A little bit away. Oh, nice, nice slowdown. Nice, nice hesitation move and a crossover by number 13, Tommy Riho. And they're going to call a foul on Marcus Mitchell and go into the line as Tommy Riho. That was a nice dribble move. Rio misses the first one. Missing both of them. It's Pravic gets the rebound. Deep three by Marcus Mitchell. Gets it to go. Eminem for three. Deep three from number 30, Marcus Mitchell. And when Corey Green's not the one making threes, it's usually Marcus Mitchell, again, one of the, be one of the other best three-point shooters on this team. Ooh, almost losing the basketball there with Jamal Matthews. I think it's another foul on Caban. BCC has six team fouls. That might be number seven. And Zachary Vega going, into, going in for Caban. He's got, yeah, he's got two quick ones, and he's going to go, he's going to go out right now. 17 fouls, and, and you, the guest, you know how many um, beef it has? Zero, zero team fouls right now. Halfway through this first half, more than halfway through this first half. Yeah, BCC definitely playing aggressive to say the least. But the one and one is missed. Front end of the one and one missed. Mitchell thought about pulling that one. Yeah. He's got good range. Is a deep yeah, three. There's a three. Mitchell can't get that one. Vega drew the double team. That was a good job by Torres, able to tip it away. Mitchell, oh, there's a slam. Vega. And I just want to put on, put on, uh, point out the hand that Torres got on that, able to tip it away to his teammate. The dunk is nice, but a great job by Steven Torres to keep that BCC basketball. Yeah, he, he poked that one away. You're right. Three pointer, no good. Coming off. And there's Torres right there with the rebound now. So Steven Torres getting it done. Steven Torres sneakily puts up numbers when he plays. Yes, he does. Caleb Poppett from the, the, from the free throw line, no good. Vega with the offensive rebound, he'll get fouled. And you look up, Craig, and this was an even contest for, for a good portion of this first half. And you look up, and it's 26 to 16. It was 16 to 14 just a few minutes ago, and now it's 26 to 16, so. Vega misses the first free throw. Corey Green. Now donning a number 11 jersey. Okay, then I was, I was confused. I'm like, is that Corey Green? I was thinking that too. I think uh, he had some blood on his old jersey, so yeah, switching they, numbers. Yeah, they put him a number 11, so both free throws missed there by BCC. Hey, he shoots like Kyrie. Why not give him his number? <laughs> anyway, it's good to see him back in the game, though. That's for sure. Glad he's doing okay. Driving through the hole. Pulling up in the lane. Jump shot is good. Number 22, Jonathan Mola. That was the first team foul by the Chargers on that last possession. Oh, drawing the double team with Pope and finding a cutting Zachary Vega. Cut into the lane, lays it in. That is a pretty pass from Quincy Pope. Quincy Pope is a heady, do-it-all kind of player. The, the returning sophomore sensation. He's captain of this team for a reason. Three-point shot coming off. That was a little miscue oh, from BCC. Yeah, Torres mistimed his jump and getting into the lane and dropping it in as Ty Cliff Blake for two.
Cross court to, to Mitchell. Be fit with that zone, sometimes it's tough to tell if they are in a 2-3 zone or in a 1-3-1 one, one type of zone, but the zone is the zone is definitely active. But BCC doing a good job with skip passes and cross-court passes, and they're drawing double teams, but when they get the double team, they're finding the open man. This one's still a close game, 28 to 20. And only eight points, still over seven minutes left in this half. Oh, nice crossover by Pope, back out. Torres pulls it for three, no good. Getting the rebound in the lane is Vega. Gets his own rebound again, goes up strong. Vega six foot four. Sometimes it's, sometimes you forget that. Driving to the hole, gets to, through to two defenders, gets between Bush and Vega. Jonathan Mola. Jonathan Mola to the hola. Wimbush up top, cross to Pope. I don't need to Vega. Or it stays with it. Yeah, that was an extra pass they didn't need. Pulling from the, from the elbow. Elbow jumper by Green is off. Looking to set a screen there, but driving to his left. Puts it up with the right, no good. Corey Green gets the rebound. Corey Green, length of the court. Nice fake, and the jumper is good by Torres. Torres with a nice fake there. Dribbles in for a 15-footer. BCC trying for the double team. Yeah, BCC with the trap there. Long three, it's good, nothing but net. Pretty shot by Ty Cliff Blake. Cuts the BCC lead to seven. Oh, but oh, nice find. Yeah, nice look. Errant, errant pass there. Luckily, Winbush was able to save it. Winbush from the corner bounces up. Pope. Goodness, the ball movement. The three point shot by Torres is good. Torres for three. 35 to 25, and BCC ups its lead back to 10. BCC moves the ball so quick, and they have such good quick passes, and they're such just. Quick with everything that they do, sometimes it's just hard to follow. They're definitely always fast-paced basketball when it comes to BCC. Yeah, they move the ball quick, they, they go up and down, they're pushing that ball up the court as soon as they get it up the rebound. They waste no time. 35 to 25, five remaining in the half. Malik Hester coming in for Zachary Vega in this game. He checks in for the first time. Tommy Rio with the basketball. Ten on the shot clock. Spinning, turning the lane, fall away jumper, no good. Rebounded by Muhammad. Torres gives a green. Torres, open three, good! Torres for three! That is his third three the of the game. The New native sinks it. And it's 38 to 25. Steven Torres, just last year at New Bedford High School, 5 foot 11 shooting guard. And it's just crazy, Craig, how one minute, one minute it's Corey Green, one minute it's Zachary Vega, Quincy Pope, you know it's those guys like that, Joshua Winbush. But then we forget about guys like, like, um, like Steven Torres or even Caleb Provitt, Marcus Mitchell. These guys can light it up from the outside. And it's just like the supporting cast is just so unbelievable. They could come, their second team can come in and, and, and hang with most teams and give them fits. They're such a deep team. Yeah, right now BCC shooting very well from the outside. They are six for eight in three-point attempts right now. Six for eight. We have three of them coming from Steven Torres, two from Corey Green, and then one from Marcus Mitchell. I was gonna say, yeah, they're, they're shooting well from the outside. 
And those are the big three, uh, the, you know, the big three when it comes to three-point shooters, Corey Green, Steven Torres, and Marcus Mitchell. You know, they're both, they're all deadly from the outside. And then we also got other guys too. Quincy Pope can do it. We've seen Zachary Vega. We've seen him down low, but he can put up threes if he wants to. He prefers to play down low, and he's great there. But, hey, if he needs to, he can put up a three. Yeah, Zachary Vega, six foot four. Six foot four. His game is mostly slashing. He gets done on the break. Of course, he can finish. He's strong inside. He's deceptively strong inside. I mean, six foot four, only 175 pounds, but he gets the ball inside. Like we've seen him get get his own rebound, go back up strong. Like he can hold his own down inside. So he can do it all. Kind of reminds last year. Remember Armani Baker's play style last year. That's for sure. BCC with that trapping defense. Twelve on the shot clock. Charter's gonna need to put up a shot. Get into the lane, and that's gonna be a travel. They're gonna call a travel on Ty Cliff Lake. BCC just so quick and so much energy on defense. So fast pace, even Dave has to take a water break. <laughs> Torres back to green. Wimbush comes up top and dumps it down into Muhammad. Muhammad, nice strong move. Great patience from Malik Muhammad Hester. Wimbush, they get the ball to Wimbush up top, and he's such a good passer. He can find guys that need cut into the basket. He does it all, that Wimbush. Tossing the ball up, out of bounds. BCC, they force you to do stupid things. 40 to 25, BCC with that smothering defense. And, and BFIT was Benjamin Franklin they were playing good offensively at the beginning. They were hanging right with BCC, but then you look up, they only have 25 points. And BCC, BCC is up by 15, just like that. Wimbush up at the top, goes to the hole, easily puts it up and in. He could probably do that all day. Yeah, Josh Wimbush, he doesn't usually take it himself as much as you, know, you would think. He usually prefers to pass. But he's he is taking it himself there, getting the easy two. Yeah, but then you look up at the end of the you look up at the end of the game, he's got 18, 19 points. Again, BCC forcing the charges deep into the shot clock. They're just gonna have to In put the it up. corner for three, no good. Mola with the miss. Green out on the break. Fearless to the hole, lays it up and in. Nothing stopping him. Ty Cliff Blake tried to draw the foul, but Corey Green did not even touch him. Corey Green looking like Kyrie. Winbush in the passing lane with a tip. Green in the air, gets it to Torres, who had a block. But oh. Not sure exactly what the call is. Did they call a foul or they're going to call steps? They're going to call steps on Muhammad. Malik Muhammad Hester. Try to reach around and try to get a pass inside to, to Winbush or whoever else was there. PCC occasionally go into that trap. In the corner, Blake off the side of the backboard gets his own rebound. Sorry, not Blake, the soccer player, Alexei Mateo. We had the talk show host last game. <laughs> now we get the soccer player. Yep, they're going to say no rebound, so it's going to be BCC's basketball. And BCC, just like that, up 19. Get those wrestling references ready. They see Pope open for three. And he drains it. The Pope. Again, this outside shooting from BCC. The Pope making him sweat with this sermon. Cross-court pass. Oh, what a grab by wind push. Whoa, with one hand, looking like a Beckham. Green to the lane, couldn't get it to go. That was a nice smash, by, nice interception by Winbush. Driving to the lane, and they're gonna call an offensive. Corey Green still not afraid to draw contact even after he got his face, his uh, face knocked around a little bit earlier in the game. Yeah, like I said, he's a fearless man. Tycliffe Blake picks up the charge. Good job to get, the, get his feet planted get asserted and pick up the charge. Corey Green always plays controlled though. Even though he's going like a bat out of hell, he has great body control. He knows how to use his body. Oh, steal! Steal by Muhammad. 
Going up. Oh, went right for the jam. Probably should have just laid it in. Sometimes you're gonna know your limitations. I think they're gonna call a foul on Espinol. And they're gonna, they are gonna call a foul on Espinol. Number one, Juan Espinol from Juanita Sanchez High School in Providence, Rhode Island. He's a sophomore. He committed the foul there. And this is going to be a three-shot foul. Gets the roll on that one. Number 13, Tommy Rijo, was shooting from the perimeter on the wing there. And Juan Espinol came trying to block it from the outside. But he'll drain the second one. And he'll make all three free throws. So a costly foul there by Espinol, but BCC still up by 19. A minute 24 left on the, on the clock here in the first half. We'll take a break here. You're listening, you're watching Bayhawks basketball here on FR Media. Welcome back, everybody, to Bishop Conley High School here in Fall River, Mass here in Fall River, Massachusetts, LaFrance Gymnasium. You're Bayhawks. You're watching Bayhawks men's basketball. 47 to 28, BCC, Bristol Community College, right next door here to Bishop Conley. BCC changing the world learner by learner. It's myself, David Cardoza, on the call with the phenomenal Portuguese cowboy, Craig Salvador, alongside me. Wimbush over to Mitchell. Teardropper in the lane gets it to fall. 49 to 28, and BCC has taken much control of this one. BCC is still very aggressive on defense. That they do. They never put their foot. Oh, nice block there by Mitchell. Luis Rosario, sophomore, will come in for Muhammad Hester. So, number 20, Luis Rosario, who hails from. Puerto Rico went to Ho Jose Rojas Cortez High School in Arcovias, Puerto Rico. And they're going to call a foul. They're going to call steps, I'm sorry, on Jonathan Mola. Now Mola wanted a foul, got the steps instead. Bayhawks basketball, 42.3 seconds remain in the half. 21-point game. Marcus Mitchell now at the point, and he's bringing the ball up. Not sure. Go oh, get into the lane. Oh, try to get into the lane. Green drops it off to Winbush. Comes in, smacks backboard. Offensive foul though on yeah. Winbush. Yeah, they're gonna call an offensive foul and getting that, obtaining that offensive foul. Number 11, the soccer player Alexei Mateo. So BCC drawing a lot of fouls in this first half. And the Chargers getting none. Shot clock is off. Only two. What BCC's been doing, once they, once the Chargers cross the, the timeline, they've been trapping, not on this, not, not this time. Shot clock is off, Chargers will hold for the last shot. Five seconds. Blake's just gotta do something. Blake drops it off, the shot by Mola, no good. And that is the end of the first half. So BCC trading punches with B fit at the beginning. It was 16 to 14. But since then, I mean, BCC has really, um, really asserted themselves, and they are up 49 to 28. So after, after the first half, you are watching BCC Bayhawks basketball here on FRC Media. It's Cardoza and the Portuguese Cowboy Craig Salvador on the call. Join us for second half action in just a little bit. First half action, BCC, the men's basketball team, 
up 49 to 28 over Benjamin Franklin Institute of Technology. And um, starting off, both teams kind of traded punches. It was 16 to 14 at one point. Since then, BCC been on a, um, I'm gonna do some fuzzy math in my head, but a 33 to 12 run. BCC really took control of this game and looking like the Bayhawks team that we know. Yeah, definitely. You know, BCC out of the gate again, like you said, a little back and forth action. But they've done. But ever since then, they've done what we've seen so many times: just really take control of this game. And some of the numbers here: the BayHawks as a team, they're seven for nine shooting from the outside. Corey Green, uh, Corey Green, who is still leading with 12 points altogether, is two for three from the outside. You know, he missed a little bit of action. He'd probably have more points right now. He could easily have 15 to 20 right now if he didn't get hit in the face. But anyway, <laughs> Steven Torres is also three for four from the outside. Quincy Pope with one three-pointer. And another thing that's impressive, Josh Wimbush, a little light on points. He only has six. He has seven rebounds through the first half. So with that, that's uh, some of the leading stats right and now. And what about Steven Torres? We know that he hit a couple threes, hit a couple pivotal threes there, kind of extended his lead a little bit. Steven Torres made his presence felt as well. Yep, like I said, three for four from the outside, four for five in general. 11 points right now is Steven Torres. And Joshua Winbush, even though he's not putting points, there's the alley-oop there, it hits the side of the rim. Corey Green tried to alley-oop it. Oh, driving baseline, kicking it to a driving to the hole. The Pope posterizing. Number 21, Jamal Matthews. <laughs> like I said, you almost forget about Quincy Pope amongst all these other very good players for BCC. Quincy Pope returning from last year's BCC team who finished number two during the regular season. You say, and he'll miss the he'll miss the second free he'll miss the free throw for the three point play. You say kind of forget, but he is really the glue that kind of melts this team together. Oh, he definitely is. Go into the hall, stutter step, and they're going to call a foul on the floor. As on Damian Martin Damian back in the Martin. game. This, mu this might be the first time we've seen Damian Martin since he started the game. Yeah, well, he went out with two quick fouls there. That's his third, actually. Coach Rob Del Lou saying easy now. Good thing about BCC, if they get if they get guys in foul trouble, they have a good bench. So go into the hole. Nice move, going to the hole. I that was number 21, Jamal Matthews. I think BCC on that play just did not want to risk another foul. They got so many in the first half. They don't want their players getting in foul trouble, even with a big lead like this. Well, I don't know. They get a big lead and a, and a big bench. Green over in the corner. Martin thought about three. Buzzing like a bee. To the hole, lays it in. Damian Martin reminds me of Muggsy Bogues from back in the day. Charlotte Hornets, five foot three. Damian Martin, not quite that small. He listed at five foot five. Coach Del Luce said he's actually bigger than what he says he is. That's kind of interesting. You see, most guys try to act like they're taller. Well, maybe he thinks he might get a little bit more street cred yeah, for being that. being that size and and doing big things. BCC misses another chance at a, at a three-point opportunity. Nonetheless, they're up 23. Just getting this one underway from Fall River. Three-point shot, no good. Blake missed that one. Pushing it up. Muggsy, Muggsy Martin. Oh, Winbush, such a good passer. Gets it underneath to Vega, Vega. Under control, lays it in. 25-point lead. This one about to get ugly. BCC with such good defense. From the top, the three-pointer no good. Tommy Rijo with a miss. Green long pass. Vega going strong. Lays it in. Good look by Corey Green looking up court. That's a great example of some great court vision finding Zachary Vega all the way laying it in for two. And that's what makes BCC so good, Craig, is that they're always they're always getting easy baskets. They get a lot of easy baskets off turnovers and underneath. Missed by Mola. Wimbush in the open court. Lost it though. Going back the other way. Blake to Matthews. Tommy, Tommy Rio. Chargers will lose it out of bounds. Another turnover. 
Again, just getting this one underway. 17-37 to play. Second half action. BCC looking for its ninth victory. Want to wish everybody a happy holiday season. Merry Christmas. Thirteen on the shot clock. Green. Winbush post up. Winbush kicks out to the Pope for three. No good. Damian Martin. Nice dish to Corey Green. Back out Vega. And they're calling travel. Yeah, quick step. And they'll call a travel on Vega. Renee Laguerre with the basketball. Nice shoes. I like the hot pink. The hitman. Going to the hole is Rio with the high off the glass. High arcing up the glass and gets it to fall. Martin always looking to push. Back and forth, Martin and Pope. And I think they're saying that Rene Lugar pushed off of Zachary Vega. And that's exactly what's happening. Going out of the game is number 23, Trey Hodgson. Coming into the game is number 11, the soccer player, like let's say Mateo. At some point, I'm going to check to see if he is actually a soccer <laughs> player. You know he's not. But he could be. Again, the sports profiling. Corey Green inbounding for the Bayhawks. Finds Martin. Vega losing oh, the Oh, nice. Vega. Oh, nice reverse lay in by Zachary Vega. Got the pass from Winbush. Wonder how many assists Winbush got because he's going out to the perimeter and he's finding guys. Yeah, Winbush right now with five assists. See? Dribbling and bibbling, getting to the lane. Nice using his body. That's very good. Tommy Rijo with the lay in in the lane. Martin now taking his time. Hey, oh, Winbush gets it stolen. Going to the lane. Blake through two defenders, goes coast to coast, lays it in. BCC, though, with a big cushion. Yeah, right now they're sitting on a 23-point lead, 15 and a half minutes left. I don't think, I've ever, I don't think left. I've ever seen Rob Delu be this calm. They'll get it inside. Vega, step back jumper. No good. Rebound by Blake. Blake doesn't have the numbers. He'll try to go all the way, and he's going to get fouled. I think it might have been on Vega. And it's actually, I think it's on Corey Green. No, it's going to be on Winbush. No, it's going to be on number 11. You're right. That's his second foul. Coming out of the game is number 13, Tom Marijo. Coming in the game is number 5. Who we do not know. It's always one mystery player per we, game. Yeah, we have a mystery player per game. That's how we roll. At least we recognize Corey Green with the new number. <laughs> Going into the lane, using his body, but Winbush with the deflection. Out to Vega, going in. Oh, another <laughs> BCC can't make a dunk today. Nope. Zachary Vega wanted it too. Corey Green, long three from the top. And they're going to call a foul. And that foul is going to be on number 11, Soccer Man. This means Corey Green is going to have a chance at three foul shots. Mateo on the charges. Is Mante Teo still on the charges? And Is actually, I think, I think they're calling, I don't know what they're calling. Maybe it wasn't in the act of shooting. I think it was after the shot went off. Yeah, they're going to call, they're going to say it's, okay. They'll dump it into Winbush. It's Man. another foul, and I don't think this one was in the act of shooting either. No, it's not. In the charges, who I think only, 
had two fouls, two team fouls the whole first half. Has five now. Vega telegraphs that one. That's going to get stolen by the mystery man. Stutter step in the corner. Finds Mola for three, no good. I'm sorry, uh, Mateo. Long pass, Corey Green getting the contact, throwing it up. Doesn't get the basket, but will go to the line. Foul is on the mystery man. <laughs> Why do they do that to us? Because they don't like us. <laughs> Number 21 looking to check back in for the Chargers. Number 21, Jamal Matthews will come in. <laughs> Looks up, he hears his name. And that's a rare miss from the free throw line by Corey Green. Usually a pretty good foul shooter. Corey Green still so far second right now in the game in shooting. That's his 13th point. Nails the second one, 60 to 36 BCC with a lead. A huge lead. Almost got a steal. Oh, did you see that? Alexi Mateo tried the flashy pass, wasn't looking, tried the no look, didn't notice that the person he was passing to, Tycliffe Blake, was not yeah, paying attention. He try a no look pass in the backcourt. I think that's a no no. <laughs> it cost him because you, you see. Blake was not even paying attention to it. No, he was not. 60 to 36. Vega in the corner. Back out to Dwayne Martin. Winbush with the pick. Dwayne Martin. Damian Martin playing, looking to do a pick and roll with his high school teammate. His high school teammate, Joshua Winbush. Going back the other way. Getting it blocked. Quincy Loose Pope ball. with the big block. Mola for three off the side of the rim. Quincy Pope got the biggest block I've seen in this season. Yeah, but again, Bayhawks couldn't come up with it. Yeah, they can't, they can't get it on the other end either. Getting hectic out there. Here's Tycliffe Blake. Getting it stolen. Damian Martin. Muggsy Martin. Got numbers. Dishes it off. Oh. Pope wanted the jam. Couldn't come up with it, but he'll get fouled, and he'll go to the line for two. Again, if you're just joining us on channel 95 on your dial, the BCC women's team, they lost today to CCRI in the first half of our doubleheader. But your BCC men's team up 61 to 36 on Benjamin Franklin Institute from Boston. They're up 61 36, like I said. Pope can't get the roll. Welcome everybody to FR Media. Cardoza and the Cowboy. No that, foul that on shot, the play. No good. Foul goes on number 22 in blue, Jonathan Mola. Interesting series of events as it stays Bayhawks ball. Things just getting real hectic out there, Craig. 25 point lead for your Bayhawks. Bristol Community College comes in, eight and no. One of the top teams in region 21, backing himself in. Akan Koban can't get it to drop. Had a nice post move, nice drop step, just an errant shot, way off. Tommy Rijo sets the offense. BCC in man to man. 10 on the shot clock, jumper from the corner, Rio no good. Rebounded by Jonathan Mola, resets the shot clock.
to a cutting number five. Mystery man high off the glass and in. Nice pass there by Trey Hobson. BCC, whether it's a Mitchell for three, bang! Eminem for three. Mitchell with the long bomb. BCC, whether it's a make or a miss, they're pushing the ball up the court. That ball's flying up the court off a make or a miss, it does not matter. There's a missed shot by the Chargers. Long pass from Vega to the Pope, bringing the house down. The Pope doing it. Third time's the charm for the Bayhawks, but they finally get the jam from Quincy Pope. 66 to 38, and the Bayhawks turning it up, turning up the electricity on the Chargers. Or should I say, turning off electricity on the Chargers. 66 to 38, Bayhawks on a run. 11.56 left to play here in the second half. You're watching Bayhawks basketball here on FR Media. Tell us something cool about Benjamin Franklin. <laughs> The Philadelphia 76ers have a logo with him playing basketball. Like it's Benjamin Institute of Technology, but what do you do there? What, is, what kind of technology? I don't know. I mean... I think this should have been their logo. This is what the 76ers use. Huh. It's Benjamin Franklin playing basketball. Yeah, that should be. That's a, I, I like this though. I'm, I was thinking about getting a hat with it. Is, like, is, that a, new, is, that, is that a new logo? I don't know if it's a new logo, but they've had it for a while, but you can find like alternate hats. Okay, let's get back. All right, welcome everybody back to Bishop Conley High School. You're watching Bayhawks basketball here on FR Media, FRC Media. It's Cardoza and Craig Salvador on the call here as the Bayhawks coming to this game 8 0. They're very well on their way. Um, to their ninth victory. Barring catastrophe here, they have a 28 point lead on Benjamin Franklin Institute. It comes into this game winless. And to beat, to beat this undefeated Bayhawks team would be a tall task, especially now. Inbound underneath their own basket is B Fit. Steven Torres, tough D on the uh, inbound pass. Yeah, Steven Torres, Caleb Provitt, all these guys have active hands. Corey Green, they're constantly getting to the loose ball. They're getting into the passing lane. They're knocking the balls away, deflecting, deflecting passes. Three-point shot in the corner is no good. No good by Blake. Fast break on the other end. They got the numbers. Vega can't drop it. Gets his own rebound, sticks with it off the glass. And they're going to wave it off, and they're going to call a travel on Zachary Vega. Zachary Vega, we're used to seeing putting up big numbers again. This uh, game in general, very spread out points, but Zachary Vega leading with 14 points on the day. He has eight rebounds. Well, that's what I mean. Between him and Winbush, they do it. They do it in a, in a myriad of ways. And, and BCC doesn't always have that one guy. It could be Marcus Mitchell today. It could be Zachary Vega next game. It could be Quincy Pope the game after that. It doesn't matter. It's a, it's a well-balanced machine. Kayla Provitt gets it to the lane. Nice jump stop. Puts it up with the left hand. Couldn't get it to fall. Nice move there by Kayla Provitt, though, to get into the lane. Showing his quickness. Oh, nice move there by Blake with the up and under move with the left hand. That was Ty Cliff Blake on the other end for two points. Mitchell kicks it back out, Vega for three, bang! Gets it to go. I think Zachary Vega heard you, Craig. Like I said, he can shoot from out there. We don't see it often, but when we do, he usually makes them. All right, loose ball. Provitt going to get it to, oh, what is going on? i never seen so many missed dunks. In Vegas having a chuckle about it. You see him tap his chest saying, my bad. Just lay it in. 
think some of these I think some of these jumps are missed time. Hey, you got a lead like this though, you can laugh about it. I had a missed dunk in my day. I had a missed dunk. I, I, I got stuffed by the rim. I had a missed dunk once. I was probably around three feet under the hoop. <laughs> On one of those like uh, Fisher Price hoops. Oh yeah, totally. <laughs> Ration, can, ration on him. Yeah, I can touch net. That's about it. Eight. Deep three by Torres. Tipped up. And it's going to be going Chargers way. Might have been off of Hakan Koban. A lot of hands in the mix there. Josh Winbush looking to, looking to come back in. And look at Coach Del Lue having some fun over there. Well time. I was talking to Coach Rob Del Lue before the game. We know it's hot in here. This place is like a swamp. This is like the old Boston Garden. I just want new seats. Yeah, it's something. But this place is like, it's like a sweatshop in here. And this guy, he's got, Coach Rob Del Lue's got like seven layers on, and he's got like this big, uh, big Nike Bristol Community College fleece on. I'm like, what the F are you doing with that thing on? How do you wear that? He just laughed. The mystery man, number five, with the basketball. Not anymore. Driving to the lane, to the hole. Gets this stuff blocked by Winbush, but he's going to get fouled. Number 21, Jamal Matthews, will go to the line. BCC with the magic number 69 over to 40. Over the visiting Chargers. Benjamin Franklin Institute of Technology in Boston. Pounding that one home is number 21. Jamal Matthews. Quietly having himself a good game. Second free throw miss, rebound by Winbush. BCC doing what they do, they like to push. Profit all the time in the world. Profit for three! I think they're going to say he's on the line. Long two for Caleb Provitt. Underrated player for BCC. A lot of quickness, and he just showed his range there. Ooh, going into the lane is Rio. Nice defensive play by Torres. Oh. I think he thought it might have went off of Rio. Mateo, Alexei Mateo goes out, number 22. Jonathan Mola comes in for the Chargers. Here's Blake, spinning. Puts it about the glass for two. Mitchell has Wimbush on the wing. Going to spin in the post. No! Josh Wimbush with the spin move and the lay-in. Don't you just feel like he can just do that every time? It's almost like he's taking candy away from a baby. But he stays out on the perimeter a lot. Yeah, that is actually, uh, Josh Wimbush only has eight points in this game. He has 10 rebounds and five assists. He's playing a little bit like average L. He's one field goal away from another double-double. Well, if he gets five more assists, Craig, he'll have a triple-double. Pounded inside. Probably thought about it. Skip step, back up to Mitchell, deep for three, pegs it home. The trifecta by Eminem, stolen, almost stolen by Torres. BCC just relentless. It is a three-pointer. Three-pointer by the mystery man, no good. Now Wimbish on the break. To the other six foot six, to the, to the couple, little, uh, easy for me to say. <laughs> Koban. There's a lot of excitement going on. Around the back, scoops it up and in. Schooling him. I think Ty Blake, he's got he got good handle. Out. Went up and under and threw Caban. BC I get a little I get a little excited. We've noticed. 76 to 45, BCC with a 31 point lead. 8.14 left to play. BCC cruising towards its ninth victory. We'll be back at LaFrance Gymnasium after this.
it's, 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 it's uh, who wants to see a blow up? Depends on what side you're on. That's what I mean, but if you're calling a game, it's not. Open Wimbush can each get a field goal. They'll have uh, six players in double figures. Yeah. Who's the leading? Who's the leading scorer? Right now? Vega, he has 17. Yeah. He also has eight rebounds. All right. All right. Welcome back, everybody, to Bishop Conley High School. Home of the Bishop Conley High School Cougars, but also home of your, Bish uh, your, of your Bristol Community College Bayhawks. BCC campus, of course, right next to Bishop Conley, right down the road. Mitchell catches in the corner, got double teamed. Coban to the other big man, being swarmed. Winbush, fall away jumper, no good. If he had made that, Craig, like you said, it would have been the six guys, double figures, going to the hole the other way was Ty Blake. Coban being double teamed. Wimbush catches it at the elbow, gets it down to his other six foot six teammate, Hakan Ada Coban. Six foot six. Center from Bodwell High School, Istanbul, Turkey. Coach Rob Delu. I'm like, where did you get this guy? Istanbul, Turkey. I'm like, you're, you're doing it, huh? If he, was, if he was playing in a tournament in Las Vegas somewhere, Coach Rob Del Lue had the connections. Long story short, and he's here. And it really just, I mean, the height that they have and the depth that they have just really sh just changes the complex of just changes the complexion of of teams that we've seen in the past for BCC. Like last year, you had no one like a uh, like a, a Win Bush or a Coban that could that were skilled and that could defend their position the way those two can. Yeah, BCC really took their formula and just really improved upon it with those two additions. Three point shot in the corner, no good coming off. Martin has his high school teammate, flips it to Wimbush, lays it in. I think Wimbush won the dunk there, but just good body control to just get under there and lay it in. Blake, Wimbush leading the break. Passes it to Green in the corner. Martin stops at the free throw line, Mitchell for three, no good. Under seven minutes to play here in the game. Nice fake, driving to the hole, gets the contact. Number 22, Jonathan Mola gets the contact. He'll go to the line. I believe that foul is going to be on number 13, Quincy Pope. So BCC with five players in double figures. Josh Wimbush has eight. Has eight points, and did you say he had 10 rebounds? Uh, Wimbush actually has, he has uh, 13 rebounds now along with 10 points. He also yeah. has five assists and three blocks. That's what I mean. And I a mean, steal. It's so hard, so hard to keep him out of the Bayhawks player of the game conversation. Zachary Vega has 17 points. I have 17 points along with eight rebounds. Yes, along with eight rebounds. So Joshua Wimbush. Just quietly gets it done on the stat sheet. I mean, it's just a great, def just a great presence underneath there, altering and blocking shots. Like you said, he has three blocks, 13 rebounds, 10 points. Can make it 14 with that. Green puts it to the floor, goes to the lane, drops it home. I think they're calling offensive charge. No, no, no. He's going to the he line. Gets it. Only problem BCC has had today is dunking the basketball. I think, they, I think they're like one out of like five on dunks. I think so. I think Pope <laughs> had one. Vega, Pope. Vega missed a couple. Pope had one. Hester Vega missed, missed one. A couple, yep. Hester missed one. Oh, 
and they can't and they and they keep failing to uh, convert the old-fashioned three-point play. That's the third one. That's the third one in recent memory that they've had a chance to complete that they haven't done. Green almost got a steal. Three-point shot, Rio way off. Mitchell with the rebound on the wing to Pope. Driving to the lane to, to the hoop with his left hand. How many for Pope? Pope, he's got 10 now. It's six players in double figures. That's what I mean. Well-balanced attack all the way down the line. 83 points, six players in double figures. Going to the hole, Rio misses. Nice snatch of a rebound by Vega, looking up to Corey Green. Off the play, oh my goodness. That would have been something. Try to throw it off the glass to Pope. And the three-pointer is sunk by Tycliffe Blake. Marcus Mitchell, deep three, bang! Banks it home, M&M &M for three. MM3. He's been so good out there. That's his fourth of the game. Four for five overall. He could definitely drop dimes from back there. You can, see, you can see Corey Green was getting ready to jump out of his shoes. He thought he, he, thought he drew a foul. <laughs> He was gonna get so mad, but he realized it was a, it was a travel. And so funny because they're up 36. BCC still competitive. And Corey Green's gonna lose control of the basketball and go out of bounds. 86 to 50. Under five minutes to play. BCC rolling. As we approach the winter break, there'll be no games during the winter break, but there's a doubleheader this weekend. All right, doubleheader this weekend with the women's team. Women's Bayhawks team and Bristol Community and your men's Bayhawks team in action. Juan Espinol, Muhammad Hester, Steven Torres, and Luis Rosario will come in and virtually replace the lineup that Coach Del Lou had in there. And that's probably going to spell the end of the day for Marcus Mitchell, Josh Winbush, <laughs> Quincy Pope. All getting it done, Zachary Vega. I was probably going to spell the end of that one. And they're up 36. You're coasting. Out of conference schedule. Seemingly it's just started off slow, but boy, they put the they put the pedal to the metal and exploded. Long three. Blake, no good. Rebounded by Muhammad. Ooh, totally nice defense there by Blake. Keeping the sideline from him. Espinol. Steven Torres wide open, wants oh, the ball. Mohamed for three. Can't get it to fall. Blake puts it up off the glass. No good. But he'll go to the line for two. And a con article bond, most likely going in for Dwayne for Damian Martin. Hey, yeah, you're talking about the new lines, not to knock anyone here. Um Obviously, uh, what's his name? Steven Torres. He's had a very good game. Now that we talk about how deep this team is. Yep. And actually, it's actually coming for Hester. Actually, yeah, Coban coming in for Hester, so Hester will step out. This free throw rebound by Luis Rosario. Remember last year, Luis Rosario actually came up quite big in the tournament play last year. Yeah, he came in and made some key plays. It was Damian Martin. Gets it to the lane. Dropping one home. 88 to 50. Juan Espinal was a great pickup last year halfway through the season. Loose ball. Save, nice save by Rosario as we talk about hustle plays. Who scored that? That was uh, Juan Espinal. Yeah, that was a nice save, though, by Rosario. Great hustle. Like I said, he doesn't get too many minutes, but the ones he does, he makes them count, even when you're up by 40 points. That's why he's the freaking Puerto Rican. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Fall away jumper by Blake. No good. Martin looking to push. Martin, a.k.a. Muggsy. They give it to Torres wide open. Torres deep three. 
Oh, nice rebound by Rosario, snatching it out of the air. Keeping the possession alive. Nice pass inside by Martin. Coban fails to hit those bunny shots underneath. And you look up at the score, Craig, 90 to 50. BCC with a huge lead. Espinal deep for three. Bang! Espinal for three. 93 to 50. Blake. He loves it up and under move, scoop up and under, no good. Rosario. Rosario's gotten about three or four rebounds within like the last minute. Yeah, that would have been a good assist there if he had it connected, but got it intercepted. Nice bounce pass there underneath. And that's number 25, Roshan Brooks. I don't think we've seen him all game. No, he just came in. Looking like PM Don. <laughs> Here's Dwayne Martin. Oh, Espinal's wide open. Juan Espinal for three, he gets it to go, his second three. Juan Espinal comes off the bench late in these games and then he ends up like a scoring machine. Like well, I said, he was a great pickup last year, his second half of the season, as he's about to almost get a steal. And they called Rashawn Brooks, PM Don, you're probably too young to even know who that is. Let me, um, who sings that song? Let me buy you a drink. I can't even think of that. No, the bartender. No Come on now. When I say the name, you're going to know who it is. T-Pain. Oh, OK. <laughs> I wasn't doing it justice. 95 to 52. Well, since we're in garbage time, BCC rolling. Rolling to its ninth win of the season. Looking to go 9-0. They'll do so. Espinol. Oh, Espinol. Espinol might get into double figures. He's gonna, they're going to call a charge there, though. Espinol coming into the game. He already has seven points. All right, since you're watching Channel 95 here in your dial and here on Comcast, you're watching FRC Media. Check your local listings constantly. Look for the Dirty Water Sports Hour to appear as we simulcast. We're also going to be bright. We're going to be we're going to be coming alive this Thursday at 4 p.m. It's the new Dirty Water Sports Hour with myself. It's Cardoza, the phenomenal Portuguese cowboy, right next to me, Craig Salvador, with Lucy Cabral. It's the all-new Dirty Water Sports Hour at 4 p.m on bccradio.org. You can down, download the TuneIn app, put in the search engine, Bristol Community College, or BCC Radio, and you can listen to us live on Thursday at 4 p.m. and listen to the rebroadcast at 7 p.m. Also check your local listings. If you want to see our pretty faces, we'll be on here on FRC Media, channel 95, right on your dial. So a lot going on in the sports world, Craig. Obviously in Boston sports, Patriots 10 and two. Going into Miami next Monday without Rob Gronkowski. We'll be talking about that on the show. Does he deserve a suspension? You asking me now or is that gonna be the well, that's topic? Gonna be, that's gonna be the topic. Okay. Celtics roll in, Celtics are 21 and, 21 and four. After losing the first two games, Red Sox doing nothing in the offseason, but yeah, it's still early. That's another that's another topic. How disinterested are you how disinterested are you in this Red Sox in this Red Sox team? Have they have they actually fallen to third or dare say it fourth on the on the Boston on the Boston sports uh you know uh, they're still ahead of list. They're still ahead of the Bruins. They're still ahead of the Bruins. It's the, uh it's Patriots, Celtics, Red Sox, um Bruins, Bruins, in my opinion. And I'm a diehard Red Sox fan. Baseball is my favorite sport, but I do have to admit right now the with how good the Celtics are doing and the Patriots are just the Patriots. So, But have, when have you ever seen that? This has been a Boston, this has been a Red Sox town. It just seems like I mean, they're the still, they're still are, gonna they're, they're still probably going to win the East, definitely. Still going to have a playoff run at least. You know, they're pitching, even the guys like Chris Sale and everything. So, I don't know. They're still going to do a playoff run. They haven't had a playoff run yet. <laughs> they made the playoffs, but they've won a game 
in the last two years, even though they've won the East, so. True, but their only real competition in the East is the Yankees. But we'll have more of this on Thursday. Yes, we will, so. And uh, interesting fact, since uh, Luis Rosario scored that point, every member of the Bayhawks team has scored at least one point in this game. And that just goes to show the, um, the, the balance the balance and the and the deepness in the and the deep bench and the and the movable parts. You know, I think I think Coach Rob Del Lou would trust any of any of his players to come in, in a big moment or a key situation and not shy away from it. I think he trusts every guy on this team to come in in a key moment, whether it's to spell someone for even a couple minutes. You know, he's got a definite ten man rotation. And interesting enough, Luis Rosario has played about five minutes. He has six rebounds in the time he's been in the game. Yeah, Luis Rosario played a lot of games for BCC in his second year. Sophomore. And, um, you know, you talk about a, a guy like that. He, he's the guy that was here last year, and he's the guy that's on the end of the bench coming in at, coming in at garbage time right now. And he, I think Coach Rob Del Lou knows that he's going to come in there and hustle. He can come in and get a few steals, hit a couple shots. And, um, and hold his own out there. So, I mean, BCC just has a deep team, so. Yeah, definitely, especially with the guys coming off the bench. Again, Juan Espinal having a good game in the last five minutes, same with Luis Rosario. But when it all comes down to it, uh, Dave, who do you think our Bayhawks player of the game is? Well, 96 to 52 is the score. And, you know, seems like we've been giving it to Joshua Winbush a lot. It's hard not to, it's hard not to give it to him, but I'm going to give it to Zachary Vega because I just think he had more impact points. 17 points tonight, eight rebounds. Joshua Winbush, definitely a close second. You could probably give it to him any time. But tonight, going to go with Zachary Vega because I just think that he just had some just in, some impact plays um, in, in, the heart, in the heart of that game. But Joshua Winbush definitely played great for his Bayhawks, doing it in all, all facets of the game. So if you had to give co-Bayhawk co players of the game, definitely be uh, Joshua Winbush getting it done on the defensive end. Double-double, five assists, three blocks, altering shots. Hard not to give it to him, but tonight we'll give it to Zachary Vega. 17 points, eight rebounds, even though he missed a dunk. Hmm. But anyway, so for, for myself, Dave Cardoso, along with the phenomenal Portuguese Cowboy, don't forget to listen to the Dirty Water Sports Hour on bccradio.org on Thursdays at 4 p.m. And check your local listings for the Dirty Water Sports Hour as well. So for... Myself and Mr. Salvador over here, 96 to 52. Bayhawks go to 9 and 0. You've been watching, F you've been watching Bayhawks basketball on FRC Media. Good night, everybody.